So, how the design and the optimization uh, studies were carried out for the first line. So, electrical line parameters uh, was uh, uh, similar to uh, 765 kb a uh, single circuit line this was for uh, uh, when the line or uh, thought for the double circuit. So, what was the optimization which was done and how the idea was used for uh, the similar idea for the single circuit that is C is a single circuit DC is a double circuit. So, design optimization for 765 kb double circuit transmission line was uh, with reference to the single circuit uh, uh, line data which was available. So, the nominal voltage again uh, 765 kb and maximum operating voltage was 800 kb. Uh, switching surge was similarly in a single circuit 1550 kb peak was employed. The air gap clearances 5.6 meter at uh, 0 degree 4.4 4 meter at a swing corresponding to 2 year return period and 1.3 meter at swing corresponding to 50 year uh, return period was uh, adopted. And conductors uh, bundle alternatives which were employed for uh, the double circuit again uh, the data was uh, from the previous uh, single circuit lines and here the adoption for double circuit was uh, they have adopted a quarter pole that is a 4 conductor uh, ACS are all aluminum steel reinforced MOS conductor. The MOS is 31.77 is the diameter of the conductor 4 being 4 conductors of 31.77 dia were used uh, when uh, the MOS were employed. Similarly, many alternatives uh, were tried out they have also used uh, uh, quarter pole that is a 4 ACSR Bursimis conductor again Bursimis being 35.05 mm uh, for the lap wing conductor of 38.2 mm dia zebra of 28.62 here they use 6 conductors you can see the hexagonal arrangement of zebra conductors with dimension of 28.62 was employed. Similarly, hexagonal ACSR cardinal conductor of dia uh, cardinal conductor is 30.4 mm dia and further hexagonal uh, ACSR MOS conductor was also tried out. So, several of this combination with 4 conductors here MOS that is a quarter pole what we call with the hexagonal arrangement uh, also was tried out for the better uh, uh, optimization. Uh, so, studies were conducted for uh, double circuit and lot of uh, data was available. Uh, so, that before the actual uh, uh, construction of the tower and uh, before actual stringing this uh, has helped uh, for the proper uh, optimizing the uh, various combinations. So, design and optimization which was carried again for 765 kV double circuit transmission line gives the values maximum surface gradient which is given here kilo volt uh, per uh, centimeter and fair weather uh, corona onset voltage kV per centimeter. So, this is maximum surface gradient this is clean condition the onset that is a inception corona gradient which is in kV per centimeter again for various type of uh, conductor uh, alternatives that is using a 4 conductor quad most type of conductor quadrupole bursimis quadrupole lap wing hexagonal 6 conductor zebra 6 conductor cardinal or uh, hexagonal moose uh, type of conductor. Several of these options were tried out and you can see the surface uh, gradient studies which have been conducted show the values from 21.2 to 16.2 kV per centimeter and the corona onset gradients were seen to be anywhere between 19.7 to 20.1 kV per centimeter. So, further the electric fields were also tried to measure sorry study this electric fields with various again conductor combinations we are trying to see and the values which are reported here the maximum electric field within the right of way uh, in kV per meter and electric field at right of way edge what was the edge. So, within inside and outside at the edge uh, the values are uh, given for various conductor configuration. So, for uh, moves with 4 conductors 9 uh, kV per meter in case of Bursimis again it is 9 lap wing it is 9.3 uh, the hexagonal zebra it is 10 kV per meter further cardinal and moose also have given the similar uh, values of 10. Uh, here the reputation of uh, electric field at uh, right of way edge uh, in kV per meter gives uh, anywhere between 1.6 uh, or 1.4 in case of Bursimis which is slightly higher uh, diameter conductor uh, lapping becomes much more, but the value shows 1.5 further uh, hexagonal arrangement uh, the right of way edge uh, the electric field may, uh, estimated was seen to be 1.9 uh, kV per 
uh, meter. So, these are the design and optimization studies which have been carried out for double circuit 765 kV transmission uh, line. So, this uh, gives the uh, line diagram of uh, the tower configuration of 765 kV uh, DC tower uh, which has been uh, used. So, you can see the total height uh, and the maximum sag which would be and the minimum clearances uh, and number of conductors which are employed the hexagonal type of arrangement you can uh, see and what is the minimum clearances from the ground to the uh, phase uh, metal part uh, that is a tower uh, uh, edge uh, minimum of 4.5 and the ground to ground is 23.5 meters. So, this is how uh, the typical 765 kV double circuit tower configuration was uh, designed or estimated uh, for the construction. This is again for same uh, first uh, project which was executed uh, from uh, the uh, Kishanpur to Mughav the 764 800 kV horizontal configuration. This were the first uh, towers which uh, were uh, constructed uh, with 85 meter uh, right of way uh, various uh, tower uh, configuration. So, in towers we have uh, different uh, types A, B, uh, C, D and uh, various configurations. So, this uh, first uh, shows the uh, tension arrangement uh, V suspension uh, string here it shows the tension arrangement. So, these are various uh, configurations uh, for 800 kV uh, of tower type A this is a tower type A and this is a tower type D. So, various configuration for a single uh, circuit uh, transmission uh, system. This shows uh, 400 kV a double circuit you can see double circuit again R, Y, B or 3 conductors in one uh, arm, 3 more conductors on other side. So, this is entire thing is single circuit, one more circuit, double circuit, each uh, phase again consisting of 4 conductor bundles. So, that is what quadruple bundle in. Uh, so, this entire 4 conductor bundle forms a single phase. Uh, you have 2 circuits here. This is again a tower configuration for 765 kV single circuit with horizontal uh, configuration as uh, shown. This is a typical uh, delta type of uh, configuration again for the 765 kV. So, the lot of uh, modifications uh, design aspects have been uh, carried out over the period and uh, the optimization has been done. This is mainly to see the uh, um, right of way which is uh, 85 meters uh, which is required for a 765 kV uh, could be reduced. So, the tower configuration the advances uh, in the technology uh, going in for uh, different uh, towers have also parallelly happened. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, work has been uh, conducted in this uh, to reduce the uh, overall uh, weight, the economy and also the um, uh, distance that is the right of way has been uh, carried out. So, this is again an example of a delta a vertical a single circuit uh, tower here. This is again a delta a vertical arrangement for a double circuit uh, tower. This is important uh, the present uh, transmission uh, uh, system uh, in the country uh, is being witnessing a lot of uh, advances are happening. So, we are talking about uh, the 765 kV transmission in the country. So, now the power requirement has uh, drastically gone up. So, a lot of uh, long distance uh, transmission both at ultra high voltage AC and ultra high voltage DC lines are being uh, uh, constructed uh, and several advantages in going for a long distance uh, DC transmission. Uh, so, 800 kilo volts uh, DC lines are being constructed across the uh, country and uh, DC uh, and AC transmission of 1200 kV also is being thought for last 4 to 5 years. Uh, presently, we have uh, an experimental uh, facility at Bina in Madhya Pradesh, uh, where uh, 1200 kV uh, test line uh, is being energized and uh, this uh, facility uh, in conjunction with the power uh, utilities, manufacturers and the R&D institutions is being carried out uh, for uh, a period of 4 years uh, and the experimentation for all the equipments the insulator strings, the conductors, the towers are being uh, done. So, very important uh, for uh, the ultra high voltage transmission 
uh, very soon we will be able to see the 1200 kV transmission uh, in AC uh, in the country. So, this is a representative uh, tower uh, which is used for uh, single circuit and double circuit. So, such a big gigantic tower with uh, lot of right of way clearances uh, has to be uh, maintained. Uh, so, lot of uh, technology improvemental aspect or advances in the high voltage and uh, ultra high voltage transmission to cater the needs of the requirement of power uh, and also uh, domestic and also the industrial uh, requirements. So, this gives some uh, uh, technical uh, particulars uh, of the 1200 kV uh, transmission line uh, in comparison to the 400 kV uh, transmission uh, system. Uh, you can uh, see uh, uh, the electrical uh, system data here, uh, various technical parameters which are being given here. This uh, column gives the details of the technical aspects for a 400 kV uh, double circuit. Uh, 4 bundle conductor that is a 4 bundle uh, quadrupole bundle transmission line and uh, the final uh, column here it gives uh, the details of the technical aspects for the 1200 kV uh, single circuit line. A comparison could be uh, made and uh, the advantages could be summarized. Uh, here uh, in case of electrical uh, system data you see the nominal operating uh, voltage being 400, here it is 7, 1150 kilo volts maximum system operating voltage is 420 kV, uh, here it is 1200 uh, kilo volts for a 1200 kV system. The power frequency uh, withstand wet that is uh, during the rain condition, the insulation requirement is 680 kV at 50 hertz, here it is 1200 kV RMS. Switching surge withstand voltage requirement is uh, 1050 kilo volts peak that is a wet condition. Here 1800 kilo volts peak is the required for switching surge. A lightning impulse or the basic insulation level are required for 400 kV is 1550 kV peak, whereas for 1200 kV it is 2400 kV peak. And the minimum corona extension voltage in case of laboratory dry conditions, clean conditions requirement is 320 in case of 400 kV and for 1200 kV the requirement is 800 kV. So, 800 kV or 810 kV is a minimum required corona extension voltage under laboratory conditions. So, the RIV or radio interference voltage measured at 1 megahertz under dry conditions could never exceed 1000 micro volts at 305 kV uh, between phase to earth voltages. This is again same for 1000 micro volts at 762 kV phase to volt. So, at 305, 1000 micro volts is the permitted, even at 765, 1000 micro volts. So, how good is the hardware is very important. The conductors, the hardware, the corona control rings, the proper design uh, plays a role uh, here as the voltage level uh, goes higher. The radio noise, audible noise have to be at the same level similar to a 400 kV or a 765 kV uh, system. So, conductor bundles, what type of conductors? Here four conductors that is a quadrupole, uh, four conductors, uh, all aluminum, uh, aluminum conductor steel reinforcement, uh, most type of conductor is being used. Here octagonal, eight conductors of uh, ACSR uh, MOS are being used for 1200 kV. Earth wire, number of earth wires and uh, size uh, for 400 kV, typically two numbers of earth wire with uh, seven uh, uh, no, uh, 7 strands of 3.6 mm dia uh, of galvanized steel are uh, used. Similarly, for 1200 kV again 2 numbers of earth wires with 19 strands of 3 mm dia are being used of uh, galvanized uh, uh, steel. So, towers what type of towers in comparison to 400 and 1200 you can see types of towers either if it is a suspension type uh, type known as DA is used for 400. Uh, for tension use DB, DC and DD. These are the various types used for tension configurations. For suspension in case of 1200 kV tower type A is used and for tension uh, tower types of A, S, B, C, D and E are uh, employed. So, configuration either for 400 kV it is vertical configuration, here it is horizontal configuration of the towers. 
what are the electrical clearances important? So, electrical clearances live metal that is a conductor or the corona control rings of the conductors. The minimum air gap clearances have to be maintained is 3.05 meters in case of 400 kV and in case of 800 kV it is a minimum of 8 meters that is around 24 feet. So, the ground clearances are very important for 400 kV towers. The ground clearance is 8.84 meters is the minimum ground clearance to be employed and in case of 1200 kV towers, uh, the minimum distance is 24 uh, meters, anywhere around 75 feet is the minimum requirement for 1200 kV. So, very important point. Uh, insulator strings, the type of insulator strings which are employed uh, both uh, for suspension uh, towers and uh, tension towers are follows. Uh, for suspension towers, 120 uh, mechanical strength that is a kilo Newton uh, insulators of 2 into 23 insulator. 23 is the number of insulator, 2 strings of 23 are employed, double suspension, 2 vertical suspension consisting of 23 insulators in each arm are used. Uh, and for say case of a single V suspension, we have uh, to consider 320 kilo Newton mechanical strength again with 2 arms of 51 insulator each for 1200 kV are used. So, for tension uh, 4 conductors of 160 uh, kilo Newtons uh, of 23 insulators that is a 4 into 23 uh, parallel uh, strings of consisting of each consisting of 23 insulators 4 into 23 employed for 1200 kV it is 4 into 51. So, 204 insulators in one quadrupole string uh, uh, of 1200 kV you can imagine. So, 200 uh, insulators each insulator typically weighs around uh, 12 to 15 kgs. So, you can uh, plan uh, you can estimate the total weight of an insulator string including the line hardware, the yoke plate, the corona control rings. Uh, near the tower. So, every important aspect these are uh, the things to be considered for the mechanical loading of the tower, the estimation of the tower, the height, the clearances so on and so forth. So, now coming to HV uh, DC towers, there is a difference uh, in case of HV AC transmission line and HV DC transmission line. So, here the configuration uh, varies uh, with uh, the load requirement, mechanical load changes here, the conductors uh, are employed are uh, different and the tower configuration uh, also changes um, depending upon the clearances. So, these uh, towers uh, which are indicated here are uh, for the high voltage DC transmission uh, system. So, we have uh, earlier looked into the AC uh, transmission uh, towers. So, there is a design uh, change in comparison with the AC uh, transmission. So, this typically are used for uh, plus minus uh, 500 uh, uh, kilo volts the details of the technical details will be looking into this. So, you see the technical particulars uh, particularly for uh, the plus minus 500 uh, HVDC lines which you have uh, seen here the tower uh, clearances, the tower uh, details, the number of insulator strings, uh, number of conductors which are being employed are given here. So, the conductor bundle employed uh, in case of uh, 500 kV plus minus uh, configuration for HVDC transmission uh, is again uh, a 4 a conductor bundle. You can see the 4 uh, conductors in a bundle here are here. The 4 conductor bundle is employed uh, with aluminum conductor steel uh, reinforced uh, either uh, bursimis or a lap wing conductor is employed with each conductor bundle spaced at 457 uh, mm uh, spacing. What type of towers and the span again the type of towers uh, for uh, 500 kV system for HVDC transmission is a suspension type A uh, type of towers or in case of a tension B, C and D are uh, normally employed. Uh, for the normal span is 400 uh, meters that is the tower to tower distance uh, used for uh, the 500 kV HVDC is uh, 400 meters. The electrical clearances from the metal part that is a live metal clearances from the conductors uh, is minimum of 3.75 meters. Then pole to pole spacing is 12.5 to 13.5 meters. So, that is uh, the pole to pole uh, spacing that is one to other is uh, 13.5 meters 
and the ground clearances. So, minimum ground clearances from the conductor that is a from the conductor to the ground. This minimum clearances uh, is a uh, used is 12.5 uh, meters for a 500 kV uh, transmission HVDCC uh, uh, towers. So, for uh, what are the uh, insulators which are being used without uh, for various configuration they use a suspension uh, type for towers either V configuration single V or a double V. In case of single V uh, 160 kilo Newton and 210 kilo Newton uh, insulators consisting of two arms one V is one arm other V other side is one more arm consisting of two arms of either 38 uh, insulators of 160 kilo Newton or 41 of uh, 210 uh, kilo Newton are normally used. It should be 38 of 210 and 41 of 160 kilo Newton. So, you have to consider two arms of uh, this insulators being used. If for suspension uh, for tension towers uh, again four conductor bundle quadrupole tension is employed. Here again 160 and 210 uh, kilo Newtons are uh, uh, insulators are used. In case of 210 kilo Newtons 38 numbers will be used and in case of 160 uh, 41 will be used. We have to consider that 210 is uh, 38, 160 is 41 of 4 strings. So, 4 strings parallelly consisting of 38 numbers will give you 210 kilo Newton uh, for a tension of 500 uh, kV plus minus HVDC travers. So, this is the technical particulars uh, for a plus minus 800 kV HVDC line earlier we have seen plus minus 500 kV transmission towers. So, now uh, we have uh, recently energized uh, from Agra to uh, Arunachal Pradesh uh, 800 kV HVDC line uh, which can carry the power of uh, uh, 6000 megawatts. So, very important uh, advances or uh, the advancement in the high voltage uh, DC transmission technology which has happened in the country. So, this uh, plus minus 800 kV uh, HVDC transmission line has the uh, following electrical uh, system uh, parameters. The system uh, voltage is operating is plus minus 800 kV uh, DC. The maximum voltage again is 840 kV uh, for 800 kV system. Uh, the switching surge or a switching impulse uh, withstand that is for rain conditions or a wet condition is 1850 kilo volts and in case of lightning impulse or a lightning surge withstand uh, voltage is 2250 kilo volts peak DC. The minimum corona extension voltage uh, should not be less than 880 kilo volts for a 800 kV transmission and RIV at 1 megahertz. Uh, for 22 kV per centimeter conductor uh, surface gradient under dry condition should not exceed more than again 1000 uh, micro volts. So, uh, the voltage level increases the radio noise is again restricted to 1000 micro volts. The conductor bundle which is employed is again hexagonal uh, consisting of uh, aluminum conductor steel reinforcement a lap wing, lap wing is uh, a 38 uh, mm dia conductor, hexagonal is 6 conductors of ACSR lap wing um, uh, conductor. So, towers uh, type of towers employed in case of uh, suspension uh, configuration A and uh, for tension B, C and D are adopted for uh, the 800 kV HVDC line. The typical span that is a normal span uh, from tower to tower. Uh, used is uh, between 400 to 450 meters uh, the towers uh, the normal uh, span which is uh, used for this line. The electrical clearances a uh, minimum uh, metal uh, clearances uh, from the conductor uh, to any of the other uh, side is 6.5 meters. Then pole to pole spacing here is anywhere between 22 to 24 meters the ground clearances is between 18 to 20 minute, uh, meters. So, 18 meters is a minimum uh, and uh, which is uh, employed and insulator strings uh, uh, insulator strings which are adopted for 800 kV uh, DC transmission are of uh, Y suspension uh, type consisting of 420 kilo Newton uh, mechanical strength uh, consisting of uh, 2 arms of 45 uh, and 2 arms of 22. So, this is a Y configuration 
which consists of uh, the V and suspension Y I can be assumed as uh, V and uh, suspension. So, V 2 into 45 and this I is 2 into 22. So, this uh, number of insulators of 420 kilo newtons are uh, being used for the tower and in case of tension tower we have a triple tension 3 conductors consisting of 420 kilo newton mechanical strength employing a 64 insulators in each arm. So, 64 into 3 uh, are used for uh, the 800 kV uh, line transmission uh, line. So, this is the line which I was uh, mentioning uh, very recently this uh, line was energized uh, plus minus 800 kV HVDC. This is from uh, Biswanath uh, Charyali that is in uh, Arunachal Pradesh and uh, the line uh, reaches Agra. So, Arunachal Pradesh to Agra uh, is the line which is uh, more than 2000 uh, kilometers length and which carries a power of 6000 megawatts. So, very important advancement in the country uh, which is uh, transmitting the power at a very high uh, uh, rating. So, 6000 megawatts is the power capability where this uh, line uh, could carry and it is being energized uh, very recently. So, what happens in case of uh, uh, the towers or the transmission has to be carried out at various uh, uh, locations which are very difficult like a normal normal uh, flat uh, conditions. So, again uh, the engineering have to be uh, looked into about the configuration a proper estimation of the clearances these things have to be uh, different in case if it is a mountainous area and the tower has to pass in between the mountainous rocks. So, that time the configuration uh, do changes and you have to adopt a different type of uh, uh, technology uh, for transmission of power. These are few examples which are being uh, employed across the globe uh, uh, during the var various uh, locations particularly in the mountainous part this uh, and in case uh, if it has to pass through the sea. So, that our configuration how it is being employed. Uh, so, these are few examples uh, which are normally uh, deviation to the calculations which we have uh, discussed uh, till uh, now for the 765 or 800 for uh, lower uh, voltage levels. So, such cases a special uh, design aspect have to be uh, considered and uh, the estimation have to be done and the configuration of the towers have to be thought. So, this again uh, is the repetition of the thing which I have mentioned earlier the slide which shows the importance of the various voltage levels you can see here uh, very important. So, from the 400 kb uh, 765 kb single circuit 765 kb double circuit 500 kb HVDC 800 kb HVDC and 1200 kb AC. So, comparison for the right of way in meters you can compare 46 meters is a minimum requirement for 400 kV transmission for 765 kV single circuit a minimum requirement of 64 uh, meters for 765 kV double circuit the requirement of uh, the right of way 70 meters and 500 kV DC HVDC is 52 uh, meters uh, 800 kV HVDC it is 70 meters. So, not much of difference in right of way between uh, the 765 kV dire, uh, double circuit and 800 kV uh, HVDC and in case of 1200 kV uh, HVAC it is 90 min, uh, meters is the minimum right of way. So, now we look into the power uh, capability that is the power transfer capability of the transmission uh, lines and now you can very clearly see uh, the capacity where a 400 kV transmission system could uh, carry is 600 to 700 megawatts is the maximum. Uh, if it is a 765 kV with single circuit anywhere between 2500 to 3000 is the maximum uh, power it can uh, carry and for double circuit uh, 6000 or 5000 anywhere between two circuits that is single circuit of 2000 uh, becomes 5000 or uh, 3000 becomes 6000. So, this is uh, 5000 to 6000 is the double circuit 765 kV. What happens in case of HVDC uh, you can see that the power at 500 kV could be 2000 to 2500. So, uh, the high voltage AC transmission at 765 kV uh, the current, uh, current uh, the power carrying capability is almost equivalent to a 500 kV 
a DC system carries similar amount of power. That is one of the reason for long distance transmission high voltage DC becomes much more economical after 400 kilometers line length. That is where the advantages of going in for higher DC to uh, 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 transfer large chunks of power for a long distances. So, HVDC becomes much more uh, economical you can see here in case of 800 kV that is a similar comparison to 800 kV uh, um, uh, double circuit uh, line. You can see 800 kV HVDC line almost uh, um, uh, could carry. Uh, 6000 to 6400 uh, megawatts. This is what uh, the recently uh, line which is coming from Arunachal Pradesh to Agra has been energized uh, and which can transmit power of uh, 6000 megawatts. So, in case of 1200 kV again you can transmit the power 6000 to 8000 megawatts. So, this is uh, how the information uh, is very important and uh, what is a megawatt, a megawatt per meter uh, this again gives the idea for 400 kV it is 15 uh, megawatt per meter. Uh, if you compare you can see uh, for 765 kV it is 65 megawatt per meter and for HVDC it is 90 megawatt in comparison to the 1200 kV. So, this figures give an idea that HVDC uh, importance and going in for HVDC becomes much more uh, economical that is where uh, for long distance HVDC is much preferred in comparison to the HV uh, AC transmission uh, systems. So, some developmental uh, aspects uh, particularly for uh, transmission line towers. Uh, so, lot of uh, changes are uh, being happening, a uh, lot of research activity is being uh, conducted to bring down the mechanical uh, strength and mechanical uh, steel structure. So, composite uh, type of uh, materials are also being tried out uh, for the high voltage uh, towers. So, that the weight of the material could be reduced uh, and uh, the tower uh, uh, economy uh, the uh, not only the construction the mechanical load uh, the cost could be reduced. So, a lot of activity uh, is also going towards this uh, end for the development of uh, fiber uh, reinforced uh, uh, plastic composite material uh, being adopted. So, uh, research is in progress towards uh, a special towers uh, uh, for uh, a very high uh, voltage and uh, both uh, for uh, transmission uh, systems. So, how to consider the tower loadings very important uh, aspects we have discussed about the conductor uh, mechanical loads, the insulator strings, the wind effects, uh, some of the zones where the transmission uh, towers are been constructed. So, these uh, wind effects uh, for the tower loading have to be uh, considered before the estimating the actual uh, tower loading apart from the insulators, the line conductors, several accessories, uh, wind aspects. So, this uh, gives an idea for the basic wind speed again the wind zones you have categorized the wind zones have been categorized under 6 different uh, zones. So, this is uh, the velocity which uh, it sees uh, that uh, uh, per uh, second that is a uh, uh, meters per second where it is uh, given uh, the figures starting uh, depending upon the wind zone uh, to the various locations and the reference wind speed is uh, typically given as Vr being equivalent to Vb by uh, K0 where K0 is uh, assumed to be 1.375 and for designing the wind speed uh, the factor Vd uh, winds is equivalent to Vr and K1 and K2 are the factors uh, K1 being the risk coefficient factor and K2 being the terrain coefficient factor what type of uh, uh, terrain whether it is a planar or it is being flat or it is a mountainous area. So, these factors have a suitable uh, uh, factors to be considered for the, the tower loading. Then design of wind pressure uh, considered is 0.6 into uh, Vd and uh, Vb which are uh, specified for various uh, zones. This particular uh, values are assumed and the effect of total uh, tower loading is uh, estimated. And uh, the loads due to conductor, earth wire and uh, insulator strings have also to be considered. Again this uh, type of loads whether the loads are towards the transverse uh, load or it is due to the conductor and earth wire or due to the insulator string or due to the deviation of uh, the loads because of the wind at that uh, area, uh, what type of uh, vertical loads or it is uh, loads because of uh, longitudinal compression tension. So, several of these aspects 
have to be uh, considered uh, for the total estimation of uh, the loads which the tower has to uh, take in case of uh, the regular operation and also uh, in case of uh, the overloading aspects. So, several of these factors which are very clearly defined the PD being the design uh, wind pressure at that location where the tower is situated, CD, uh, C and uh, CDI being the drag coefficients uh, because of the wind, L being the wind uh, span, uh, then CG, C, GC and GI being the gust response factors and D being the diameter of the conductor and T being the design uh, tension uh, and D being the deviation angle where uh, the conductor uh, swings. So, several of these uh, factors have to be uh, considered to estimate the actual load where the tower uh, uh, sees uh, and so depending upon the tower loading uh, unnecessary foundations have to be uh, thought and estimated. So, that uh, 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 several of these uh, factors uh, have to be considered uh, for the foundation aspects.